To solve for t on a problem like this, we have a couple issues we need to overcome. First of all, we have a t on both sides. We need to get those over to one side. We have t's inside the parentheses. We need to undo those parentheses. And also we have some fractions that we need to deal with. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of my parentheses by applying my operation. So you can see all I simply did there was just apply the distributive property. Now I can combine these like terms, that's going to be a three, and a 13 minus four, that's gonna to combine to a nine. Now what I simply need to do is get rid of my denominators. So you can see I have a 16 and a nine. I don't wanna be dividing by a number, I need to solve for t. So I need to undo this division of nine and six. So to do that, I need to multiply each of these sides of the equations by the LCD, the smallest number that six and nine evenly divide into. That number is going to be a 18. Okay, so the reason why this is going to work or get rid of this is six divides into 18 three times. Now I can apply three times my five t plus three. And over here, nine divides into 18 two times. So now I can apply two times this expression. It's gonna look like this. All right, now again, my t is still inside these parentheses, right? Make sure the census three is being multiplied by both terms. I use parentheses to group them together. but. To solve for t, I gotta get the t outside of those parentheses, so I need to apply distributive property one more time. Okay, so now I have my t's outside my parentheses. I don't have any more fractions. I just need to get my t's to the same side and then just use my inverse operations to go ahead and solve. So subtract a 2t on both sides, subtract a nine on both sides. That's gonna leave me with a 13t is equal to a nine. Divide by 13, divide by 13, t is equal to nine over 13.